We're Asian, we East and West mixed together, uh, came up with an idea, came up with the concept in where that both can be sold to, 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 to the public. We want to provide something different uh, to Londoners here, which is we plan to come up with an Asian inspired state house. There we, where we meet. It's two brothers meet. This is the and behind the name of Meet, uh, meet Brothers. This is a story where two competitors we meet. We meet here to form a new brand and to establish a UK. A lot of people would go, I mean, especially nowadays, there's so many variations. You can go for Chinese, you can go for Thai, you can go for Korean, and then at the same time, you can go for the Mediterranean, you can go to the British cuisine. But let's see what the two of both worlds join, combine, and see what happens. And then this is why the concept is very intriguing and very, very special in a way that I don't think many, many uh, restaurants here, other than the Michelin stars, does do the, the East and West kind of concept. And to put into perspective, uh, a lot of our Muslim community love the idea of having a Malaysian, have a little bit of the pasta with a little bit of sambal and, and throw in a bit of steak, ribeye, you know, just to have that momentum that, that, that inspire the food, you know, so you cannot, you can have the Chinese and you can just have the steak at the same table. I think that's where it comes along. And then that's, that concept really, really good in order for us to prove ourselves to the, to the UK market. In Asian inspired state house in UK, this is the first. So when we come here, we want to be different. The, our location is quite unique because you must understand in the UK, Muslim population is only 6%. Within this location of Paddington and Edgware, there's 40% of population of Muslim. So strategically, we're there. We're, we're good. We're, where we are, we're okay. You know, we're good. In, in terms of gathering people, in uh, targeted market, that's where we are good at. We are focusing and positioning our business as fully halal restaurant. The concept of Meat Bros is unique. Our USP, our unique selling point is 100% halal. And that what's intrigued me because a lot of halal restaurants out there, they say they are halal, but they still have alcohol on their bar. So we are 100% halal in where that we have to check every single supplier for a halal documentation in order for them to supply it to us. When I, when I introduce my, my staff, my new members of them, when I recruit people, I have a whole section on halal. I have to educate them. Why is it? How is it? What, it, what does halal mean? What does haram mean? Permissible? Where? Why we don't eat pork? why we don't do this, why we don't drink alcohol and every single thing that we explain has a surah in the Quran saying that why, you know so it's explicitly and then now all of my staff are from six different, I think I have ten different uh, nationalities working in this environment now they understand what is Allah like, oh that's why, oh I didn't know that, you know and then that's education by itself. And then for us to for us to have a hundred percent Alan restaurant is also dawah. So all our meat is all chill, never frozen. So it's all fresh. We serve all level of beef from uh, grass fat, from the grain fat, from Angus, and then we do have uh, wagyu as well. And we do have tomahawk. If you go to the beef selection, to the meat selection, what other places in the world have five different countries supplying this restaurant? We've got the Australian, we've got the Japanese, we've got the New Zealand rack, we have the, uh, the Irish, you've got the US, you know, five different countries contributing to that chili that you just saw. So, it's a, it's a lot. There's no liquor, there's, there's also smell of liquor, smell of beer in the restaurant, so it's more family oriented restaurant side of a uh, part of the nice beautiful deco which is surprise people will be surprised when they go go to the to the basement with the because it is totally is uh, this is ambiance that you can see the deco because you are you are actually going to a different world again all this stone all this uh, wood all this door is more than 200 years old we are underground literally and then when, when you you have this kind of ambiance when you have this kind of deco people will get attracted to it this used to be a Lebanese restaurant. 
So this Lebanon and then the owner put heart and soul into this. So all the wood, all the bricks that you see right here is basically imported from Lebanon to build this place. And then also the fact that they used to have live band, belly dancers in the past and then, you know, it really, really brings out a whole story. Um, one customer was saying to me that, it's like being in a, in a museum. I'm like, yep, exactly. You know, it's a whole story to tell and a whole, a lot of layers of stories that, that you can dwell into it. You know, all these decos that we have. We designed it to be uh, for families, uh, but everyone. I mean, the young professionals, the TikTokers, the younger generation, the older generation, the Gen X, the Gen Z, the millennials, they all have a spot in Meat Bros. All our menu is all 100% is freshly made in the kitchen. We are bringing fresh material, we are doing everything by scratch. The flavour that we are bringing, you can't get it in anywhere in, in London and UK. It's totally different with Asian twist of flavour. We have our own uh, recipe that we put it in the meat. So uh, the way we put it in, so that you can really, really taste the flavour of the meat. Not the flavour of the salt and pepper but it's really flavour of the meat. The chef is really competent give, uh, bringing the flavour of the world. Well, in creating that halal menu, there's a lot of things that you, you need to think of. Uh, the menu comes from Chef Najib, which is a quite well-known chef in Malaysia. His experiences all throughout his life was in Australia, becoming an executive chef by himself. So he's very particular in what he tries to sell. And he always pushes it to the limit. He always pushes creativity to beyond people's understanding. You can see a lot of thought, a lot of passion, a lot of time went into this and creating the superb menu that we have.